Hello, welcome to Woods and Water Outdoors. I'm Patrick Corcoran. Uh, before I get started, I apologize for our little background music. I have my chicks in here with me and uh, I can't leave them out in my shop because I have a cat out there. So um, they'll be uh, hopefully quiet down before everything's done, but they're little musicians at the moment. Uh, today we're going to do for you a real simple thread jig uh, with marabou. And at the end of the video, we're going to slow down and uh, take a look at how I hand whip finish our jigs. Um, we've had a little bit of interest in some new tires and how to get that done. Um, and so we'll, we'll slow down at that point and, and talk through that. Um, today I'm going to use fluorescent yellow marabou, uh, red and green crystal flash, on a 132nd ounce lime green head. I combine those two flashes in there, uh, the red to match the thread body, and then the green to match the head as far as having flash goes. And I use two strands of each, so whenever I Fold those over, and I have four total strands of flash in there. I told you those chicks are going to be a little crazy. So next, we're going to add our marabou in, and you know, lengthwise, it's really just kind of however you feel um, you want that to be usually about twice the length of the hook. And we, once we have a couple loose wraps and then we push that feather down, it'll surround the hook. And then you can tighten it down after that. Cut off your excess. Just build up your collar. These jigs work really well in a finesse situation. I have a lot of movement with that marabou. Um, if you're a slip cork fisherman, uh, this is a good jig to do underneath a slip cork. Just a little bit of wave is going to keep that marabou uh, undulating in the water. So real simple little tie, uh, classic color combination with the red and fluorescent yellow. And so now with the whip finish, what you want to do is you're going to pull out a little bit of extra line string and you're going to take your index finger and your middle finger and put them together and come underneath your thread like this right here. Then you're gonna roll the thread to create this box. So you have that little X right there, okay? So you're gonna pull that X up to the base of the head and you wanna put the head through the hole. And when you do that, you're gonna bring your middle finger back underneath your index finger and drop them down. And when you drop down, your index finger is gonna be on top you open that hole, put the head through it again, and repeat. Just like so, okay? Open that hole, index finger on top, drop, okay? So now whenever you want to pull that down tight, remove the middle finger, start drawing it down, you can place your index finger right here on the head until the string pulls tight. And that's how I uh, whip finish with my hands. And so uh, once you practice it a couple bit of times, uh, you know, four or five, six times, you'll kind of get the hang of it and stuff will start happening pretty fast for you. Um, Speeds up the process uh, for me. 
Uh, it's how I learned to uh, whip finish when I first started. The first video I ever watched, um, man fly tying, that's how he did it. And so I didn't even know anything about a whip finish tool. And so uh, if that's the way you want to give it a try, it's a little bit quicker in my, my opinion. And uh, you don't have to have that extra tool. So, um, so that's how I do it. And uh, give that a try. If you have any questions about that, I'd be more than happy to answer them. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on the next video.